All right, let's make a documentary. This documentary? Yeah, baby. I'm glad you're getting everything ready. That's good. Just move on up toward your destination. Are you sure this is the house? Yeah. Though you may find from time to time the complication. Thanks for having us here, Mr. Chizbuka. Oh, absolutely. It's my pleasure. What are you drinking there? Oh, whiskey. It's great. It's used to have it as a young man. Always did me service. And you know, when you age, you know, whiskey, it gets you by. Is uh, whiskey out of a solo cup something you normally do? It isn't. I'm just too lazy to uh, do the dishes. Oh, I understand that. I mean, I'm just a college kid. I, it, we're all just college kids here. We don't, we don't like doing dishes. I understand you. College kids are lazy nowadays. Did, right. did you just hit a, an e-cig and then... What was that? Yeah, yes, I did. Um, I like to keep it modern nowadays. You know, the young whippersnappers. They love jewels, and I... I guess, you know... Jewels? Is that what that is? Is that a jewel? It is a jewel. Um, oh, it smells funny. It smells kind of good, actually. It's berry. It's berry? Cherry. 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 Okay. All right. Well, uh, if, if you're ready, uh, I think we're going to get started. Are you ready to go? Uh, yes, sir. I'm ready. All right. We're just having a conversation. All right. Tell me what would you like to hear. Well, I have many yeah. great stories of this expedition. Sound speeding? Sound speeds. Okay. Camera rolling? The camera's rolling. All right. Well, how about, how about we start from the beginning? Back to what I was saying. We we're a part of a great oceanic research group. What we were made to do was uh, research fish and give back to the public of what we learned and what they could essentially know what no one would ever know. We were tasked with being the Germans and um, we faced a lot of trials, tribulation. The great part about it was um, our group was magnificent. The Germans were supposedly working on a deep research expedition. We were all bugging about what they might be looking for. So the US Navy hit us up thought we might be of service. Chandler Howard, journalist. This was his first expedition. Very clumsy. Tristan O'Neill, safety expert and chief mechanic. Mysterious, bizarre, puzzling. An excellent scuba diver. Roberts, the cruise medic. Bubbly, incredibly smart, and a little sarcastic. Dr. Pete Brown, physicist. Earned a PhD in marine biology and oceanography from Duke University. Quiet, outlandish, sporadic. Captain Kumbu Jisabuka, captain and critically acclaimed explorer. Basically, the modern magenta. Yeah, yeah. Drew Applin, engineer and first mate. Simple, beautiful, slow in mind. Brendan Bauer, unpaid intern from the University of Oregon. Cool, calm, collected. Can't participate in the war for psychological reasons. Same goes with Timmy Martinez, 
communications and information system syndrome, has poor organizational skills and severe attention deficit disorder. Lieutenant Barry Burt, proud, stern, navigation and communication specialist, was an ex-soldier in the U.S. Marine Corps. search and discover whatever it is that the crowds are looking for down here. This is the observation room. Obviously there are windows on every side of the submarine. The U.S. Navy wants all eyes on deck. As the mission is to search and discover whatever it is the crowds are looking for down here. Any questions? Yeah, I got one. So what are we looking for down here? We're looking for crowds. Oh, really? So the crowds uh, look for the lost city of Atlantis, or uh, maybe the SS is drafting mermaids now. Well, I guess we'll find out. I guess we will. I guess we will. Yeah. You see this jacket? It's a nice jacket. It is a nice jacket. I got this one. What the hell's going on? This is Nothing. What do you mean? What do you mean? What's what's going on? What's going on with you? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay. Let's yeah. Close right. This is the navigation room. Obviously this equipment will help us determine our current location. It also serves as a communication room. If anything should go wrong with this precious equipment, we'll be stranded. It should make us bored. Lieutenant Briggs never did a whole lot except sleep, eat, and boss the crew around. They grew tired of his selfish antics. In the meantime, the crew did discover a new species of whale. It appeared to be a distant relative to the humpback whale. Possibly having a common ancestor, it's likely that evolution split the two species on their own separate tracks. This creature definitely wasn't related to the shark. Its two giant breasts indicated that this beast was a mammal. We decided to name it the Mammal Whale. What was magnificent was the diversity of whales that were attracted to this mammal whale. Narwhals, sperm, orcas. However, the whales preferred the younger mammal whales. With careful observation, it was discovered that as a mammal whale grows older, its FP, or fat potential, reaches its maximum. Other whale species find the older big beautiful whales, or BBW whales, revolting. Except the killer whales, of course. Yeah, uh, you, uh, what you doing, buddy? Uh, my friend and my girl. Wait, you have a daughter? Uh, no, my girlfriend. You had a sexual? You, uh, you want to do something else and play grab ass with each other? Jews not into that. Hey, Chris, 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 what are you, what are you doing, man? Come on. Who's Nothing. in there? What's in the locker? Open it up. My pet cat. Open it up okay, right now. He's a fascist, okay? He's I don't a spy. care if he's a fascist. He's open the damn. Look at his camera, okay? Open the he's damn. He's the big all of Gosh dang it. Pete's in there? You got lucky this time. It's Peter. My bad. Sorry. I don't know what the right, thank you. Thank you. What you doing there, man? Bro, I'm. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> 
your hips into it, man. All right, I got it. Man, this is awesome, isn't it, Tan? We're out here on an expedition. It's deep blue with all these fish. Isn't that sweet? You done? I mean, yeah, I get, yeah. I mean, I'm just excited to be here, Tan. Like, come on, just, I'm excited to be on the ship with you. What's your deal? Get up. What? Get up. I don't want to talk to you. Right, whatever, Tan. Just like maybe not like a girl loves you because she won't write you back. But I love you even more than that. Do you catch my drift? Okay. Yeah. POW camp. Well, hell yeah, you get freaking lonely. Touch my ass again, see what happens. Oh, is that, is that a temptation? Is that no! A it's not a temptation. Well, touch my ass! All right. I'll have to tell you again. I have a chain of command, Captain. I understand. The only person who can touch my ass is Drew. And that's because he's going through girl problems right now. Uh, that's true. Should I touch his ass too? No! That's my ass! So you can't own someone's ass? I can't, because I'm the main captain. So I get to own his ass. I get to slap his ass. I get to grab his ass. I get to caress his ass. The chain of command, it's brutal. Yes, it's brutal. It sucks. It really does. No, I don't want your ass. All right. I want that ass. He won't give it to me. So I'm going to keep trying. Okay. All right, Captain. Get out of my face, man. Come on. I'm sorry. Playing games. Man, grab my ass over here. I'll kill that man. 